Fusion is the long-term holy grail of energy. It, it is what, what we want. It is always available, clean, hopefully economically available energy. Today the Fusion Industry Association has run an event to talk about the emerging fusion industry and about some of the risks and opportunities. I am Andrew Holland, Executive Director of the Fusion Industry Association. We are a new association representing the interests of the growing and new fusion industry. We were founded in 2018. In less than two years, we've grown from 17 members to 22 today and continue to grow, continue to get more interest, get more investment, and drive excitement in the fusion industry. What is new about fusion is that it's moving from a scientific research program to an industry. And that means that there's companies that are driving investment into it and they have plans to get to a commercial power plant to get fusion onto the grid sooner than I think a lot of people have, have realized. And that's why we're hosting this event today, is to open a discussion into how and why and why it's important that this is something new and, and something that maybe you all should be paying attention to, whether you're investors, your energy industry, your politicians, your press. This is something that's new and is coming and is going to be important. So, Melanie, over to you. Thank you. Then we heard from Scott Shu, who's the program director of ARPA-E in America. ARPA-E is an agency that funds transformative technologies to try and accelerate progress. We're asking for people to think about transformative ideas. Just mention one example, instead of a solid first wall, say a thick liquid flowing wall. I mean, those are the types of ideas that would fit well with, with the types of things that ARPA-E wants to support. After that, we had a panel discussion where we had a range of perspectives. So we had somebody from industry, uh, Domenico D'Andrea from Air Liquide, who supply cryogenics. We had people from the fusion industry, so Jonathan Carling from Tokamak Energy, Bart Marcus from First Light Fusion. We also had a representative uh, from the investors, Nicola Daly from Legal & General, uh, who invested in Tokamak Energy, was also here giving her thoughts. I've really enjoyed today's event. I believe it's the first event in the UK of the Fusion Association. So I think that's a, a tremendous milestone in itself. A sustainable net energy gain is, is a huge target. Once we achieve some of these critical milestones, I think the risk return profile of investments will start to change. And finally, we had Tim Bestwick, who's the Director of Innovation at UK AEA, which is government-funded fusion, giving us some perspectives on the government-funded routes and how government could support private innovation. I'd say today's event has been exceeded my expectations. We've had a great group, great discussion, and it continues. Even, even now, people are eager to talk and learn about fusion energy. The FIA wants to build a fusion movement, and that means having people educated and excited about fusion.